Hi students, in this session I am going to continue the part 2 of NEET preparation series day 6 which covers thermodynamics and thermochemistry previous year NEET and APMT questions. Let us see the question number 7. The heat of combustion of carbon to carbon dioxide is given as minus 393.5 kJ per mole. The heat released upon the formation of 35.2 gram of CO2 from carbon and oxygen gases <clears throat> means during the combustion of carbon, carbon to carbon dioxide, how much amount of energy is released to students? Delta H is equal to minus 393.5 kilojoules of energy is released for 1 mole. Clear. Then the heat released during the formation of 35, uh, 35.25 grams of CO2 they are asking. So this is the heat released during combustion. So heat, rele heat re required or released during the formation will be opposite sign delta h is equal to 393.5 kilojoule per mole this is the amount of energy required for formation clear for how many moles one mole which means one mole of co2 how many grams 44 gram so 44 gram of co2 requires how much amount of energy 393.5 kilojoule energy is required so 44 gram requires 393.5 kilojoule then as per the question 35.2 gram is given how much 350 35.2 into 393.5 divided by 44 this one solving will get around 305 almost equal to 315 kilojoule of energy and this question I, I discussed what is required only but go through the playlist of my channel in thermodynamics and thermochemistry you will get the best tricks to solve different kinds of questions from this thermochemistry sure those uh, those tricks are very very helpful for you let us see the next question which of the following statements is correct for the spontaneous adsorption of a gas see here this is the catalyte catalyst to surface catalyst to surface when gas molecules are present like this when gas molecules are like this there is more degree of randomness spontaneity is more uh, then you can say entro entropy is more why entropy is more randomness is more all the gas molecules are moving in different different directions but whenever all these gas molecules are adsorbed on the surface of this catalyst then you can say that here entropy is decreased so you can say change in entropy value will be negative clear entropy is negative so delta s is negative and delta s is negative in previous class we discussed that delta s is negative so what should be the other two conditions to take the reaction will be spontaneous if delta s is negative means only these two are there in this condition anyway it is non-spontaneous only in this condition at which temperature at low temperature only del reaction is spontaneous so both delta h and delta s should be negative then only the reaction is spontaneous so which option delta s is negative and delta h also should be negative then only the reaction is spontaneous this is the correct answer let us see the next question question number nine for the reaction x2o4 which is a liquid converts to 2xo2 which is a gas delta u is given delta s is given you have to find delta g let us see how to solve this delta g equal to delta h minus t delta s in the given formula delta s is given and delta t is given students but delta h is not given this also not given you may have to calculate so two unknowns are there then how to do delta h formula you have to use change in enthalpy equal to change in internal energy plus delta n r t what is delta n number of moles change in number of moles of the uh, products minus reactants number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous reactant this is gaseous product how many are there two two minus how many gaseous reactants are there it is not a gas it is a liquid so zero delta n is two 
delta n we got this is how much this is 2 r we want in kilocalories let us take in calories for example 1.987 calories around i am taking 2 then temperature how much is given 300 and delta u how much is given in the question 2.1 for example in hurry if you take 2.1 and if you do that's it you will get wrong answer that option also they'll include in the uh, that answer also will include in the options see carefully it is given in kilocalories convert into calories then how much you will get tell me delta h is equal to 2100 plus 300, 600, 1200, 1200. Then you will get 3300 calories. Clear? And this is what delta H. Then delta G equal to substitute here. 3300 calories minus temperature is how much? 300. And delta S is how much given students? 20. Then you will get 3300 minus 6000. You will get minus 2700 calories 1 calorie is equal to 1 kilo calorie equal to 1000 calories then 1 calorie equal to divided by 1000 kilo calories so you will get 2.7 kilo calorie is your answer minus 2.7 kilo calorie this is the amount of energy next question a reaction having equal energies of activation for forward and backward reaction. It is an easiest question. In reaction is taking place amount of energy required to carry forward and the backward reactions are same. Then the enthalpy change during the reaction will be zero. Because forward minus backward the amount of activation energy both are same. Then delta H will be zero. So this is your answer. Next question. This is little big question but I will teach you in an easy way. See here. When 5 liters of a gas mixture of methane and propane is perfectly combusted at this particular temperature and pressure. Means 5 liters of a mixture of these two are there in an, uh, one container. For the combustion of this 16 liter, 5 liters of uh, hydrocarbons require 16 liters of oxygen at a particular same temperature and pressure. Clear. Then how much amount of energy will be released during the combustion? Means 5 liters of hydrocarbon, it consumes 16 liters of oxygen. Then how much amount of energy it releases? Generally, 1 mole of methane releases this much amount of energy and 1 mole of propane releases this much amount of energy then how much amount of energy release, uh, releases uh, this uh, mixture will release during the combustion that is your question ok let us uh, first write the balanced reaction methane it undergoes combustion then what you will get you will get CO2 and H2 balance this one carbon how many hydrogens are there 4 so I will place 2 2 2 this means what is the stoichiometry ratio one mole reacts with how many two moles one mole reacts with how many two moles and propane c3h8 propane undergoes combustion we will get co2 and h2 how many moles of how many carbons are there three so three hydrogens eight so put eight four here and how many oxygen three twos are six and four 10 so place 5 which means that 1 mole of propane requires 5 moles of oxygen 1 liter requires 5 liters you can say that how many liters of mixture is given see listen carefully students ch4 is how many liters we don't know ch4 plus propane is 5 liters let us stay let us say ch4 is x liters then propane will be how many liters total is 5 liters in that x liters is methane so 5 minus x is the propane there is an amount of that is an volume of uh, propane gas is present fine you came to know what is how many liters are there here see this 1 mole of methane see here 1 mole of methane is reacting with 1 liter if it is it reacts with 2 liters 
or one mole if it is it is reacting with two moles then what is what you can say it is if it is x liters it can react with how much one liter reacts with two liter if it is x liters how much it reacts two x liters of o2 so 2x liter of O2 is required for methane and this one 1 liter of propane requires 5 liters of oxygen gas then 5 minus x liters require how much amount of oxygen gas just do cross multiplication 5 into 5 minus x liters of oxygen gas is required so what is the total volume of oxygen gas is required for this mixture this uh, add these two 2x plus 5 into 5 minus x which is equal to total volume how much student 16 liters which is given in the question total if you combine these two this much amount of uh, this many liters of oxygen is required so solve this 25 minus 5x which is equal to 16 then 25 if it come this side it will be 9 then 3x x is equal to 3 liters if x is x means what methane methane how much it is required students tell me 3 liters if it is 3 liters if you substitute here propane you will get 2 liters now we came to know how many liters of methane and propane this is a little big question methane 3 liters and propane how many liters 2 liters now write, see the standard equation standard equation 1 mole of any gas, it occupies 22.4 liters, then 3 liters, how much? How many moles? So, 3 into 1 by 22.4 moles. So, methane is how many moles? 3 by 22.4 moles. In the same way, 1 mole of any gas like a propane occupies 22.4 liters. Then 2 liters of propane is how many moles? Just do cross multiplication 2 into 1 by 22.4 moles. Now we came to know the moles of methane and propane. Now tell me 1 mole of propane, 1 mole of methane, 1 mole of methane gives how much amount of energy students 890 kilojoule then 3 by 220.4 moles gives how much amount of energy just do cross multiplication 3 by 22.4 into 890 kilojoules it gives this much and this will gives how much one mole one mole of propane gives some amount 2220 kilojoule then 2 by 22.4 gives how much then 2 by 22.4 into 2220 kilojoules so mixture gives how much means you have to add these two you have to add these two then you will get the answer around 317 that is your answer shall i repeat this one time you see this big problem first you have to take this uh, expression standard expressions from that uh, from the given mixture you have to take 5 liters right from by using this 5 liters you have to find by using this 5 liters and 16 liters you have to find how many liters of methane and how many liters of propane is present once you know the liters you have to convert into the moles when you have, once you convert to the moles you should find the uh, how much energy is released by using this data i hope you like this video thanks for watching you take a second and please give like